A lot of what we do here together in these YouTube videos is try to recreate things that we've seen on other websites, uh, things that make us ask ourselves, can Muse do that? And this is an effect that, uh, to put simply, uh, Muse can't do, and it's something that I've created a widget for that injects some code in there. It handles all the code for you, so all you have to do is drag it and drop it, and it allows you to do this effect, where you mouse over an image, it could be a hyperlink or not, totally up to you and uh, the image grows and with my widget you've got control over the amount that it grows you've got control over the speed at which it grows uh, and it's completely free so you guys can go download it from museresources.com right now uh, I've already published it and it's a great widget so I'm gonna show you guys how it works it's really really easy to use uh, so here I've got a few images and as you guys know I love giving you tricks uh, I'm gonna throw a, a trick in there every chance that I get so before we even talk about the widget I'm gonna throw a, a trick at you guys real quick. I'm gonna go to my finder where I've got an image and I'm gonna drag and drop that image in here. And you guys have probably, if you've played with Muse for a little while, you've probably noticed that if you don't scale an image yourself uh, and you use the inspector, that it doesn't actually even scale the image in the first place. So if I type in 460 by 300, for example, uh, it didn't scale the image. It, it just scaled the frame around the image. So huge keyboard shortcut here. Use this on the inspector because it's incredibly useful. Uh, at a glance, it looks like it's going to mess you up. But all you have to do is use the keyboard shortcut Shift. And if you're on a Mac, it's Shift, Option, Command, and the letter C. If you're on a PC, it's Shift, Alt, Control, and the letter C. And what that's going to do, Shift, Option, Command, C, that is going to fill the frame with the image uh, by allowing the image to go uh, edge to edge in whatever direction it needs to to fill the whole frame. So uh, what I mean by that is there might be some of the photo cut off, but the photo is not going to be any bigger than it needs to be to fill the entire frame. So uh, the alternative is the almost the same shortcut, Shift, Option, Command, or uh, Shift, Alt, Control, and the letter E instead of the letter C. If you use the letter E, it shows the entire image. E for entire image. That's a good way to remember it. And then C for cover the entire frame. Uh, or I shouldn't use the word entire. C for cover the frame. E for show the entire image. So you can toggle back and forth if you want to. So the idea is you can worry about dimensions and then just boom, the image pops uh, into those dimensions when you strike that shortcut. It's really, really cool. Uh, I, I try to use that every chance that I get. So now that we've got our images dropped in here, these are just regular images, and I stress that they're not shapes with image fills. They're just images that were dropped onto the page, uh, and that's the way to make this work. You just gotta have images dropped on the page. So since I've got images dropped on the page here, the next thing that I wanna do is drop in my widget. So I've got this hover scale widget here. I'm gonna drop it onto the page. And it gives me some options here. It gives me options and it gives me instructions. And I'm going to walk you guys through that real quick. It's really, really simple. Uh, so first we can start with our zoom duration in seconds. I'm going to, I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to, I'm going to do two seconds instead of four seconds. Uh, and when I say slow it down, that's actually going to speed up the effect. The lower this number, the faster it's going to go. And then the zoom multiplier, uh, 1.2, I'm going to go up to 1.3. I'm just trying to make this more drastic so it's easier to see when I preview it. Uh, and it's easier to see where it's not happening where I choose not to apply it. So uh, the, the point is I do get to apply this where I want to and the way that I want to. It is not automatically going to apply to all of these images because you don't necessarily want every single image on your entire website or web page uh, doing this effect. So the way it works is if you have an image selected or images, I'm going to select these first four here, and you go to graphic styles, you just need to create a graphic style and name it grow. So there's this little, it looks like a sticky note, it's a new icon at the bottom. And when I click the new icon, it creates a style, and then I can select that style. So you want to create a style, name it grow, all lowercase letters. And wherever you apply that grow layer style, and you apply it just by selecting things and clicking grow, uh, that's where the effect will take place. So uh, these have it, these bottom ones don't. I didn't select those, I didn't apply grow. And by clicking on an object on your canvas, you can see the graphic styles panel respond to that and it shows that it has that style applied. So uh, you don't really have to remember anything. So now that I've done that, one thing uh, for those of you who are looking around saying, where the heck is the graphic styles panel? If you don't see it, you can go to window and you can turn on graphic styles. It might not be on until you turn it on. So go ahead and do that if you don't see it. 
cool so I'm gonna preview in the browser now I'm gonna do a little shift command E to preview in the browser and now that I've done that when I move my cursor over the effect is applied I like to have the effect happen a little bit more slowly I personally think this is a little bit too quick and jarring uh, but it does automatically ease in and out which makes it look a lot more smooth and it eases its way uh, it eases in and out as it grows and it eases in and out as it shrinks and uh, it shrinks with that really same nice effect uh, and these bottom images down here since they don't have uh, that graphic style that I created they don't do the effect so I get to be very selective about where this effect gets applied so it's probably my new favorite widget uh, and, and speaking of these widgets uh, I went back and I revamped the rollover transitioner which is by far the most popular widget that I've made and um, for those of you who are familiar with it you may have noticed there were some uh, compatibility issues with certain browsers and uh, compatibility issues with uh, certain other objects on the page slideshows uh, things that already had trans transitions like slideshows and composition widgets and uh, for those of you who use the uh, preloader widget there was a conflict with the preloader widget fading out uh, all of that stuff has been fixed so the rollover transitioner got a big update so uh, also I added an option in here to apply uh, to only hi hyperlinked <clears throat> I'm sorry to apply to only hyperlinked objects instead of automatically applying to all objects and you also now have the option of disabling image transitions uh, but all in all it's just a much more compatible widget than it used to be updated and works great so uh, go and download these widgets go to museresources.com download these free widgets and make great use of them I'll have more cool content coming soon and I promise I will have more tutorials and more frequent tutorials coming soon uh, things got busy for a minute but uh, I'm back so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll have more cool stuff coming soon